1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue and began a campaign of genocide and oppression that has continued for over 500 years. The Dakota Access Pipeline is the latest expression of this genocide and oppression. As we speak, over 10,000 people are bravely standing against the newest expression of imperialism at Standing Rock, North Dakota. The pipeline is being built through sacred lands of the indigenous Americans, the First Nations that are supposed to be protected by a series of treaties signed between the U.S. Imperial State and the First Nations themselves. These treaties are now being violated, putting millions at risk. The Dakota Pipeline Company, a member of the Energy Transfers Partners Monopoly, have already destroyed sacred burial grounds and ancestral land, and intend to destroy more. Not only is this pipeline continuing the destruction, oppression, and exploitation of the First Nations, but is also putting the water supply for tens of millions of people at major risk. It is risking turning over 1,200 miles of land into a wasteland, like so many pipelines have already done around the world. And why is it that this is happening? Why is it that 500 years of genocide and oppression continue? Why is the right of self-determination continually denied to the First Nations and many other nations that make up the United States? Why is the livelihood of millions being put at risk? The answer is simple, profit. The profit motive, the need of the market to grow or die, have put millions of people around the globe into servitude, facing death and ruin with each dollar of profit made for the smallest number of individuals. The resistance happening now in North Dakota, those brave souls facing mercenaries, militarized state police, attack dogs, and vicious propaganda campaigns cannot stop this pipeline alone. The oppression of the First Nations, of all nations, of working people, will not be decided by a pro the protest in Standing Rock. Standing Rock is the start of the mass movement necessary to stop the capitalist imperial machine which continues to kill, starve, and oppress millions around the globe, including here in our own country. The plight of the Native American, of the members of the First Nations, is all of our plight. Freedom for all or freedom for none. We must stand together as a people united against the constant trampling of human rights and dignity in the face of profit. We must reject the profit motive over the human motive. We must stand with our indigenous brothers and sisters against the pipeline of destruction. And we must not let this pipeline be built. The movement started by the brave souls at Standing Rock must not end at Standing Rock. A mass movement against capitalism, against imperialism, and for socialism is the only way to guarantee the right of self-determination for First Nations and the nations of all peoples. All working peoples of all nations, races, and creeds must stand together behind our Native American brothers and sisters against this pipeline and must continue to stand together after the pipeline has been shut down. The mass movement against capitalist imperialism must continue, or the oppression exemplified by the Dakota Pipeline will only return in a new form. Today is the day we stand together. We stand with Standing Rock. We stand with the First Nations. We stand with all oppressed and working people. We stand against the capitalist imperialist system that keeps billions in chains. We stand for the right of national self-determination. We stand for solidarity. We stand for socialism and the liberation of humankind from the imperialist mongrels which beat us into submission. The Dakota Pipeline must be shut down. The rights of the First Nations must be protected. The first, the fight must continue after the pipeline has ended and extend to all peoples who face oppression under the fist of imperialism. Down with the Dakota Pipeline. Down with capitalism. Down with imperialism and all power to oppressed and working peoples. Woo!